Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today we're doing Advent Calendar Day 23, and for Day 23, it is the VK 75.01K. Uh, ooh. Uh, do I think this tank is good? No. Fuck no. No. Do I think you should buy this tank? Under no circumstances, no. Nobody should ever buy this heaping piece of shit. I don't know how to put this any more bluntly. I hate this tank more than I've hated any other tank in my entire life. What a piece of crap. I wish I could give it back. Does anybody want mine? Could anybody take mine? Uh, it's 7,500 gold, but that's still too much because unless you like whiffing your shots constantly and the ones that do hit uh, don't pen, uh, it's just, it, this is not the tank for you. Unless, unless, unless whiffing shots is your thing. So you got horrendously bad DPM, penetration that's just okay, uh, premium penetration that's that should be fine, except for it's offset by the fact that the aiming stats are horrendous. Like, it just takes forever to do anything. And aim time almost, this is like defender levels of bad. Um, like, 0.37 seems fine, right? Oh, that should be great. But like, no, these soft stats are unusable trash. Uh, it's just, it's just awful. Uh, in the time that it takes you, the 17 second reload. So you're gonna head, you're gonna find a Skoda T50, you're gonna shoot it at once, you're gonna bounce because that's what this fucking thing does. And then the Skoda T50 is gonna put two rounds into you and then load before you get to load again. That's how bad this tank is. And it's so frickin', it's slow. I, I just, I, I saw, I'm sorry for going a little bit more uh, colorful with my review this time than I normally do, but it is, I hate this tank with such a visceral feeling that I have a hard time containing that. So you get to feel it now. Uh, this tank is such a bad tank that I am now like, I, I like, I guess I want to be done, but I feel like I owe it to you guys to show a little bit more. So like, you're thinking, oh, but the armor's got to be good, right? If the gun's so derpy, not really, no, because the lower plate's garbo, and you're thinking, oh, I could just side scrape because it's got this awkward rear-mounted turret. Well, okay, so let's just say you side scrape off of this corner. That seems good, right? Except for the fact that you've got this cupola. Uh, which is not hard to hit because your exposure time to get the to get the gun to actually behave your exposure time is forever So somebody's gonna hit this cupola before you get a chance to hit them your turret roof is only 40 millimeters thick So that means because triple overmatching anything that is three times 40 which is uh, let's see 40 80 120 So anything that's 122 millimeter or 21 millimeters and larger is just gonna overmatch your roof uh, So that's fun and then you know, it's just it's just not I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just bad. And then this awkward, like the rear mounted turret thing in general means the only way that you can engage anything ever is to, is to side scrape. You want to be aggressive. You want to poke around a corner. Someone's going to see that first. They're going to track you right here and you're just going to get, you're just going to get farmed. So this tank is awful. No one should ever buy it. Uh, I regret buying mine. Um, I would rather play a Mauerbrecher than play this piece of garbage. And that's saying a lot. I would rather play Artie than play this fucking thing. Uh, anyways, so that's the game. That's the tank. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the following days will be better because I can't imagine them being any worse. Uh, thanks, guys. Next time. All right. Bye.